Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, artists. Thank you for the xylophone theme song. Today, Emily the Art Dog and I are going to teach you about rainbows and light and color. This may be a review for some of you, and for some of you it won't be. I don't have the Miss Frizzle movie at my house. It's in my classroom. But part of doing art at home is adapting. So I'm going to include a link on this lesson about Miss Frizzle and the Magic School Bus making a rainbow. So you'll be able to watch that link and then learn all about light and all about rainbows. One trick I learned when I was a kid, how to remember the order of the colors, is the fictional name Roy G. Biv, which stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So here I have a heart rainbow with paint sticks. I like this one. This is a watercolor rainbow and I made it in a circle. I promised a kindergartner in Miss Nelson's room a watercolor lesson today. So you can do this in watercolor if you want to. Here's a rainbow shaped rainbow in marker. And I'm going to now do a wavy line shaped rainbow in crepa. And because we're at home and we don't want to waste our supplies, I'm just going to use the back of this paper. You can use any color you want, I'm sorry, any art supply you want to make your rainbow. So I'm going to make a wavy line rainbow this time. And we're going to do some shortcuts so my lesson doesn't get too long. I'm only going to color a little bit of each color, and I'm going to have you pretend that I colored the whole thing. Some of you may remember with Crepa that if you layer Crepa, it turns out better. So I'm going to layer with a little bit of red here on top of another red. Here's some orange. And I'm just going to color a tiny bit, and we're going to do some pretending. I like to blend the colors. In real life, rainbows colors do blend a little bit where they touch. You've probably noticed that. I'm going to layer a little bit of light orange to make it look better. Now comes my yellow. I think I learned about Roy G. Biv when I was in kindergarten, actually. And it's a good way to remember those. The order of the colors, because they're always the same with a rainbow because that's the way light is organized which you can learn from the movie if you choose to watch it so here's my green and we're going to pretend I colored the whole wavy line but I'm not going to because you don't want a super super long demonstration that's annoying blue indigo just means dark blue if you're wondering what that color is, it comes from the plant indigo and was originally used to dye um, blue jeans. Blue jeans, not now, but years ago, were made with indigo, the dye, to make them that dark blue. So this is indigo. And then would come violet. And violet and purple mean the same thing. It's a color that has two different names. And you can hear that in the Miss Frizzle movie if you decide to watch it. And here comes my violet. And then I'm going to start over again with my red so that I don't have any white space. There we go. So now, I would like you to pretend that I colored in my entire rainbow, all those wavy lines, and now I have a super cool wavy line rainbow. 
So, boys and girls, I miss you all. I hope you enjoy learning about rainbows and light and color. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.